Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I am back. This is a very quick word, guys. This is not from a dream. Ignore my wrinkled shirt, guys. This is not the type of shirt that you're supposed to iron. So yeah, it's my free-spirited shirt today. And plus, I love orange, guys. You know, your girl be in her natural type vibe. Uh, but yes, I don't know why I feel goofy, guys. I've been laughing today for no apparent reason. And it, there's a reason. It's because, uh, guys, um, hold on. Let me move you guys. Uh, yeah. The Lord is moving, guys. I'm trying to move y'all right here. The Lord is really moving. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a good month. Uh, so I'm happy. I feel good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get on and give a quick word, guys. This is from a dream that I had on 123, <laughs> January 23rd. Uh, not a dream, a vision, a vision that I had on January 23rd. One, two, three. Okay, that's significant. Some of y'all will catch that. Some will be like, what? That's okay. It's all right. It's all right, guys. Uh, but yeah, I had it on January 23rd. Um, and I was asking God if he wanted me to release this word to you guys, right? I was like, Lord, do you want me to release this word to them? I'm like, because you've kind of had me all over the place with the prophetic words that he's giving me, right? Some are judgment, some are uh, marriage restoration, some are elevation. Like he's just had me kind of all over, but I really, I have to release how he gives it to me. I'm not a one subject type of prophet, prophet. Okay. I'm not a one, one subject type of prophetic voice. He, he kind of has me all over. And, uh, when he first told me he was going to have me as a watchman and he gives, he said, I'm going to give you the words. You're going to release it as I give it to you. And if you don't, their blood will be on your hands. That is what the Lord gave me. He gave me a whole Ezekiel type job description, okay? So your girl is obedient. So today, or he kept bringing this uh, vision back to me. And again, guys, this is from almost six months ago, January 23rd, one, two, three, that I had this vision. And y'all know uh, I have more dreams than visions. I do have visions often, but my dreams surpass the, the amount of visions that I had. Um, or that I have, but this was a vision. And I was like, I was like, Lord, do you want me to release this word? And somebody actually sewed um, into my ministry today, right? And I was so grateful. I pray over every seed I get, guys. I'm so grateful. I'm not in anything for money. Y'all know I don't even um, say if you feel led to sow in any of my videos. So whenever someone sows a seed, they went to my website to get the information or they emailed me personally to get the information. But this person didn't do either of those things. Um, but they sewed into my ministry today and the amount added up to $7 and 53 cents, right? And the Lord speaks to me a lot through numbers. So I knew that even through their seed amount, um, and, like guys, God is strategic. So they sold $7.53 to my ministry, right? And I prayed over their seed and immediately the Lord told me, look up the meaning of 753 in the Strong's Concordance. That's all biblical numbers, guys. God speaks to me a lot through numbers. And when I looked up the meaning of 753, it means architectone. Architectone is the word in the Strong's Concordance. The Strong's Greek Hebrew Concordance is architectone. And that word means architect, master builder, okay? And when I saw this, I knew the Lord was telling me, yes, I want you to release this word, okay? So here it goes. I had a vision on January 23rd. And in that vision, I was looking at my ex-husband's Facebook page and where it lists um, your job description on your Facebook page, it said architect assistant at Black Enterprise, right? His job description on his Facebook in this vision said architect assistant at Black Enterprise, right? That was the end of the vision. So when I woke up, the Lord... Uh, had me look up what enterprise means. I know what an architect is, right? An architect is the master builder um, of a home or, or a foundation. The master builder, the one who's building uh, the home or the foundation is the architect, right? 
in this vision, my ex-husband's job description said assistant architect. So I knew right away the Lord was saying um, that he, as in the Lord, is the master builder, the architect. We're all his architect assistants, right? We either choose to partner with him and assist him in what he's doing, or you choose to be an architect assistant to black enterprise, okay? Meaning the dark world, the worldly world, okay? And the Lord spoke to me loud and clear, and he was saying, yeah, he's the architect assistant, meaning the assistant, meaning the assistant builder uh, to the world. Like, he, he's not partnering with me. So everything he's trying to accomplish, everything he's trying to build on his own, it will not stand, okay? And the Lord made that very loud and clear. Everything he's trying to build, he's trying to put together, he's engaged. Like, at this time, I had... a. Uh, um, not too long ago, a few months prior to having this vision, had found out he had gotten engaged or whatever. You guys who've been following me for a while, you know the Lord had me standing um, for my ex-husband up until 414. That's a totally different story. Not going to get into that. But the Lord had told me from this vision, he said, yes, everything he's attempting to build and put together, the engagement, the relationship, this marriage, this new life, um, he's the architect assistant to Black Enterprise, okay? Black, of course, means darkness. Guys, an enterprise is, let me give you guys the exact definition. An enterprise is a project or undertaking, typically one that is difficult or requires effort. Enterprise also means a business or company, okay? So I'm going to read that again. An enterprise is a project or undertaking, typically one that's difficult or requires effort, guys. An undertaking, the definition of an undertaking is a vow, an agreement, a pledge, a covenant, okay? <laughs> the second definition to enterprise is a business or company. So the Lord was speaking to me and he said, he's the architect assistant because the Lord was saying, I'm the, the head architect of everything. I'm the master builder. You partner with me and you get to walk in light or you partner with the world and you walk in darkness, okay? So the Lord was saying everything he's attempting to, to put together, these covenants, these agreements, uh, everything he's trying to build for himself that God has not ordained, it will not stand. He's the archi architect assistant for black enterprises, meaning black darkness. He's not walking in light and everything he's trying to build, the Lord was saying he is going to destroy it. It will not stand, okay? And that goes for the engagements. Uh, the life he's trying to build, everything that he's trying to do as an architect assistant um, that does not include God, it will not stand. And that's what the Lord gave me or told me from this vision. The Lord also led me to move you guys over to uh, Job chapter five, verse 12. And I'm going to read from the King James version. And I never read from the King James version. Okay. KJV. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. He, as in God, disappointed, meaning disappoints, the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. Meaning, if you're not an architect assistant and partnering with God to build the life that he has set for you, um, you're building in darkness and whatever you're building, it will not stand because you're building on the sand and not the rock, okay? That's the translation that the Lord gave me for this scripture, okay? He also had me read um, Deuteronomy 28, verse 20. It says, the Lord will send upon you curses, confusion, and rebuke in everything that you undertake to do until you are destroyed, perishing quickly because of the evil of your deeds, because you have turned away from me. Okay, that's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 20. And the, others, the other is um, Job chapter 5, verse 12. Um, Job chapter 5, verse 12, I read from the KJV version. And Deuteronomy 28, verse 20, I just read from um, the AM version. Okay, but the Lord is saying, guys... <laughs> That these um, these prodigals, these spouses that are trying to to build a life on their own, okay, they're 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 the architect assistants for black architect assistant for a black enterprise, meaning they're building in darkness, okay? They can't even see what they're doing. So you know the, the building ain't gonna stand because they put nails where it don't belong, like the whole structure is a hot mess. The Lord is saying, um, he disappointed 
the devices of the crafty, okay? So whatever they're building, they're going to be disappointed because it will not stand. Who God has ordained for you to be with, who who is your um, who your God-ordained spouse, wife, husband is that are trying to build outside of what God has ordained, it will not stand, okay? They are the architect assistant for black enterprises, okay? <laughs> so that is what the Lord wanted me to release to you guys. This is a quick word from a vision that I had on January 23rd, but the Lord just had me release it today. Um, so I had this on one, two, three, guys. That's the order, God ordering things, okay? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to release this word, guys, who it's for. You'll catch it. If it's not for you, it's okay. If you feel like it's for you, take it back to God and let him elaborate further. But that's all I have, guys. Um, so don't worry about what these prodigal um, wives or husbands are trying to build. If it's not built on the foundation that God has set, which is the rock, they are building on sand, it will fall. They are working for um, Black Enterprise, okay? <laughs> the darkness, okay? Black Enterprise. They're an architect assistant for Black Enterprise. God is so strategic and he's funny. That's why I keep laughing because, guys, God... He can't be boxed. He's funny when he releases a word, but he wanted me to release that to you guys. Um, and thank you for the person who sowed the seed this morning. Um, I love you. I love all of you guys that have sowed seeds because I don't ask for nothing. And I pray over all of it um, and that God multiplies it beyond your belief, okay? I love you guys. I just wanted to release that word because God gave me the go from the amount that the person sowed um, this morning. And yeah, he's strategic. Um, but I love y'all. Have a good day. Uh, expect, um, expect things to happen in June, guys. God's fresh air, his fresh wind, it is coming in ways that y'all don't even know. Um, don't get weary and well-doing. Keep walking. He got you, okay? You don't work for Black Enterprises, okay? We don't work for Black Enterprises. We are architect assistant with God. We partner with him. We let him order our steps and we walk according to the steps that he sets for us. And that's where our success comes from, okay? You are successful and wealthy when you decide to partner with God and open your heart to him and walk in his ways. Success and wealth has nothing to do with money, okay? And I, I don't know why that just came out in this word, but oh well, Holy Spirit is speaking catch that as well um but i love y'all have a blessed tuesday and yeah bye guys